Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, uh, episode 392. Uh, each week we gather here uh, to uh, um, review and um, contribute to the questions asked and answered on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Uh, with us tonight we have Tim Kapper. Uh, Tim is a, a webmaster at onlineownership.com. Uh, recently a winner of the uh, local SEA, local SEO, uh, best local SEO, uh, oh, is it? Please tell me, Tim. Consultants, consultancy. Best local SEO. In Middle consultancy. Earth. In Middle Earth. <laughs> Thank you. Tim is based in London, about, no, oh, sorry, in Corby, about 100 miles north of London. Uh, and Masataki Wasser is webmaster of wasserweb.net. Uh, he's also a Google product expert on the uh, AdSense community, and Tim is a Google product expert on the uh, um, Google My Business uh, community. All right, let's uh, have a look at these questions. Uh, the first one uh, is um, titled, How to Create a Page Title for E-Commerce Products. I don't think that'll be that hard. Uh, what do you guys think? Okay, so he, he wants to include buy or shop. Not, not typically, you, you wouldn't typically include that into the title of the product. Um, you know, you can do, but it all depends on the actual product itself. I mean, Google kind of understands if it's an e-commerce store that can be clicked, add to cart, things like that. You know, this is buy or shop. They, they understand that um, it, because it's the, just the very nature of the site. Um, also equally, depending on the actual product, um, you know, your title or the actual product description in the title may actually be quite lengthy. Chucking in, trying to get a buy or a shop in there is it's just, it, it's a bit unnecessary <clears throat> and it may detract from it. Uh, you know, if people are searching for two aluminium chairs, and round table and your your product is two aluminium chairs and round table it matches perfectly that, 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 that they don't want to be looking at it to add it to pinterest you know if somebody's searching that that that's that's the actual intent to buy a shop you can include that in your body copy if you wanted to and it reads well but yeah i typically wouldn't put that in there Thank you, Tim. Uh, any more? Okay. This one from Hila Carlin. Um, it's, it's titled, Here is my incredibly dumb and also a bit controversial SEO question. Search engine optimization question. Hila went on to say, okay, here is my incredibly dumb question. Uh, um, it's also a bit controversial. Bear with me, I'm also a newbie. Um, why does everyone say that Wix SEO is crap? Uh, as far as I can tell, you can do the same type of on-page, off-page optimization uh, as any WordPress site. Uh, you can add structured data, you can build backlink speed as good, it's responsive. So why is it considered so uh, inferior? Um, please, uh, can uh, an impartial expert weigh in here? Where will we find an impartial expert? Okay, so uh, um, I missed that question. Give me a, someone give me a little. It's number two on our run, Tim, in, in, in um, um, Q, Q prompt uh, 785. So we've got a new new run list. Um, we're, we're doing the, the second set of questions. I'll read it out. 
Just one sec. Um, it's, it's from Hyla Carlin. She said, here's my incredibly dumb and also a bit controversial question. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> um, yeah. Look, I mean, so, yeah. There isn't a problem with Wix uh, uh, as such. It all depends on the site and, and, and how it's going to grow, how the business is going to grow with it. Um, uh, I don't see how building backlinks is, is relevant. Um, there isn't a problem with it, but it, it the essentially is how, how, what is the intention of that site? Is it going to stay at, 40 odd pages and you know just build like you know if it's a chiroprac like like a chiropractor for example uh he has three or four types of treatments or whatever um book an appointment and then you've got your uh, supporting content in either news or a blog it's not an issue um but if you're going down the e-com route um or uh, the technical route, or uh, just a larger um, type site, you want to be able to manage that very, uh, <laughs> you know, there's certain things you can't do with Wix. But if this is a bulk standard site, product, there's no issue with it. Um, yeah. Thank you, Jim. Anything to add there, Messer? No, not really. I think, I think um, sometimes I think the opposition to Wix um, comes from the marketing claims that they sometimes make. I think that's I think that's part of the problem because they're projecting certain image, and that I think grates on some people's nerves. Um, Wix has had problems with um, AdSense integration, so we've had questions in the community quite a lot. So I think it's about, I mean, it's what Tim said, but I think it's also about um, how much control you want to have over the actual creation and maintenance. If you are interested in creating something and put it on, you know, put, put it out there, then I think Wix is a platform that's good. I mean, it, it meets the needs and purposes. Um, but if you really want to have a tight control over how you create things, how you do things technically and sort of back end stuff, then, you know, it's probably not your choice. But then it's all about the purpose. And I think Tim really explained that very well. Yeah, yeah. Yes, if um, WordPress had uh, the um, design elements built in, uh, um, then it would be in very, very hard to beat. All right, let's go on to it's number uh, three on our run list. It's from Carmen Chan, uh, and she said, trying to add another language to my local site. Uh, Carmen said, hey, uh, SEO good people, I am trying to add another language to my local site as we are a multilingual country. My initial steps uh, were to create language specific content in some folders with brackets uh, slash en and hreflang tags. But I'm still terrified of the duplicate content penalty. Well, don't be. Uh, may I know if there's a chance that Google might not capture it and penalize anyway? Has this happened to anyone before? <coughs> so, look, the, the thing is, if one's, in, if one's in one language and one's in another language, even if you didn't use hreflang, right? D d d how, how would, you know, Google see it as duplicate content. You know, they would try and understand that as much as possible. 
And there's no such thing as an actually duplicate content penalty. It, it merely filters out the same content on the site. Now, it's not the same content, although it's translated, it's not the same content. It's being shown to different people for different queries. Like the Chinese wouldn't show up to an English query and versus the English, the, 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 do, you, do you see what I mean? Um, uh, no, you know, just get your HF lang fine, you know, get that sorted, um, which you say you're working on. And um, yeah, you know, that, that's fine. But there is, there, there, don't, don't even put this duplicate content thing into your head. It's no, it's not, it's not going to be an issue. Just get, you work on your HF lang. You're muted, Jim. Thank you, Tim. Sorry. Let's move on to question four on our run list, uh, unless Masataki would like to add something. Nope, I think Tim answered it perfectly. Thank you, mate. All right, uh, Peter Smith said, hi all, new here. Um, he said, I have the interesting problem of a homepage ranking way more highly for a major keyword while the collection page with content optimized for that specific keyword ranking uh, is ranking many pages down the search engine result pages. It's partly the fault of a lot of um, early uh, backlinks being directed to the home page instead of pages more re re relevant uh, to the keyword. But I need customers going to the collection page now, not the home page. This is particularly an issue as a competitor is higher on page one, but it seems silly to direct more links and social signals at the home page when it's not the page I'd prefer customers to be directed to. <coughs> Thoughts on resolving this? Um, throwing more links and signals at the optimized page doesn't seem to be doing all that much. Now, so you, 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 seem, to, you seem to be placing way too much value shoving stuff at um <laughs> you know links is is what made your, your home page rank higher than that for a particular query no um google feels that um the home page or whatever search engine feels that the home page is far more relevant to a user to land onto that um you're probably going to have a bit of a tough time getting them to go to the what did he say was it the checkout page or the shopping page or something um you know, specifically on that, why don't you rather look at if the home page is what is being displayed, the home page is what is working, but you're getting people dropping off. Why don't you revisit actually um, a better call to action on that page to get them to there very quickly in the top sort of in 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 like you know the. the 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 top half of the the site you know the very first thing above the pay, above the fold um look on a call to action to get them through to that faster if that's where people are going if that's what search engines thinks is most relevant for that query if that's where people are going you know you're trying to just sit there and re-engineer for like your um you know your your, your shopping or checkout page or whatever you said it was um actually appearing instead of that query um you could be spending so much, so much time and energy trying to figure that all out. And it may never actually work because Google or search engines feel that your homepage is, is the most relevant for that. So rather work on your call to action to get them through there very fast. Thank you, Tim. All right. Um um let's move forward to the next unless uh, there's anything else all right um oh it, there isn't the next <laughs> all right uh, look um we'll be back at the same time next week uh, to do this uh, all again um but um for now um it's um good night and thank you for watching i must must thank you before we go People like um, uh, Michael Stricker and uh, Michael Martinez, uh, Brenda, um, 
Brendan Mullane, I think. I, I, I hope I've got the, the your name right, Brenda. Um, people who um, answer questions through the week almost as soon as they're asked um, perform such an invaluable uh, function and contribution uh, to the uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. And we thank you all. All right, uh, let me turn this off and we'll be back next week.